Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What you are about to listen to are a collection of tapes interviewing the heads of the hidden and very secretive Monster Studios. Sit back and prepare to be enlightened. Hello, and thank you so much for this interview. Second of all, I have to apologize for being late, but I'm sure you understand. Job interviews, scheduled meetings, and planning the future. So to begin, I should provide a little setup. Monster Studios was created around 20 years ago, before the release of Freddy vs. Jason. This studio was created not only as a sanctuary where monsters and killers can find work, and just so your listeners are aware, the killers and monsters you see on screen are not as bloodthirsty as they appear. Of course, I could talk about how we find talent, and how we keep them out of the public's eye. However, that is a responsibility for Freddy and Pennywise. Now, as I'm sure you know, running a place such as this takes a lot of work, and I need to get going. So I hope you have a great day. I will be sure that Freddy is in to see you. Well, hello there. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, wait a sec. Is it the gloves? Give me a moment. Hmm. You look a little confused. Is it the voice? I mean, you've dealt with actors before, haven't you? I'm sure you know there's some form of deception being either body or voice when it comes to every job an actor gets. Anyway, Patrick told me what we were going to be doing in this interview, so first I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Frederick K Kruger, although you can just call me Freddy. And I am co-founder of Monster Studios. Alright, well... You see, I, I had a pretty successful career in Hollywood even before Monster Studios. But after Freddy's Final Nightmare, which was my personal last film, my personal last solo film, I decided to take a step back from the acting scene. You see, the film industry is a brutal business, even if you are a beloved monster. So seven years later, in 1998, Patrick came to me with a proposition. Because we as monsters and killers on screen would more than likely be hunted down and thrown in jail if anyone found out where we were. Because I'm sure you know the world today. It's kind of hard for people to distinguish between what they see on screen and what they see as reality. And even more difficult for people to not judge others. But I'm sure Patrick told you. Even though we portray killers and monsters and horrible things on screen, that's not who we are as people. But anyway, we spent the funds that we or I had built over the past 20 years and made this place. Of course, shortly after the construction was started of Monster Studios, Patrick had his premiere of American Psycho, so a lot of the busy work came into my lap. Finding someone to take care of our apartment complex, someone to find talent, and find jobs for that talent, and someone to be a messenger between the studio and us. Of course, we were able to find a messenger pretty quickly. He's out and about now, so unfortunately, you won't be able to speak to Buffalo Bill. But, luckily besides him, we were able to find some hungry individuals, hungry entrepreneurs, so to speak, who wanted to make Earth a much better place. Because as sick and twisted as it is, people seem to really enjoy getting scared half to death. And it really seems to bring a joy to their faces. Of course, this studio has had its ups and downs for sure, as every business does. After the year of 2000, and after only two years of business, we wouldn't see any prominent success for another 11 years. Sure, we may have had achieved a couple of wins here and there with Saw and Army of Darkness, but for the most part, we were losing jobs and losing money quickly. And then one day, we heard of a man looking for talented monsters for a possession. He was uh, creating possession and, and horror films. You may know of a couple of them. They're Insidious and The Conjuring. To be perfectly honest, actually, after 2011, our business and capability to locate jobs for talent began to boom. 
but I think this is a pretty good place to leave off here. Like Patrick, I'm sure already told you, running a studio of this size is a little difficult when you're on your own, and it keeps you busy pretty much 24-7. But I'm pretty sure Pennywise can take it from here, and Pennywise can give you the details about our talent, about how he finds our talent, and about how he gets some jobs. He is a specialist in this after all. So I hope you have a great day. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's a force of habit. By the way, do you want a balloon? <laughs> oh, I must apologize. You see, my mind has been in a very Stephen King-esque mood lately. We never expected the updated version of it to be so smashing, to be as popular of a success as it was. Funny enough, I can imagine if this studio was open since the 1970s, it would have been much more successful. Stephen King is one of the most genius authors to ever create stories about monsters and horror. But I am off track. My name is Pennywise, the Dancing Clown, also known as Robert Gray, also known as... Well, you get the point. My responsibility is to find new talent and make sure they can find work. From John Kramer all the way to Krampus, business has been booming, and although we have failed a lot, we have had even further success, and I admit, I was working here even before Bateman told me I would get another shot to give an accurate portrayal of the monster Stephen King created. My favorite job I have found for somebody, I have to say, was payment. You know, the supposed king of hell that spawned in hereditary. Honestly, his audition for us is one of my favorites because he took off his head like Jack Skellington and quoted Shakespeare. And as far as anyone is concerned, Payman is not a king of hell. King of parties and the dance floor, maybe. But he is perfectly harmless. Although he did help provide a pretty fantastically terrifying movie. Even a lot of the workers, myself included, had trouble sleeping at night. I guess the best thing about this place is indeed the job opportunities it opens up. Because it's not just about me. It's not just about it. It is about the art and the work that we can provide the rest of the world. Now, speaking of it, as I am sure you know, Chapter 2 will be releasing next year, and so I must be off. Lots of work to do with very little time. Production will begin here very, very shortly. In fact, it may already be started. I don't know. I'm late to these things usually. You understand. I'll be sure to send Chucky in to see you. But one more time. Are you sure you don't want a balloon? <laughs> Alright buddy, let's cut to the chase. Chucky is the name and renting rooms is my game. My job here at Monster Studios is to be sure our employees and talent are as comfortable as they can be. We have all the perks, luxurious rooms, a pool, a studio where the talent can practice their craft, although undoubtedly some make more ruckus than others. And it, it makes it difficult to, to, for us to get some sleep. In fact, they, are, they succeed at being truly terrifying than some of our other talent. For instance, that ghost that is in pretty much every single possession movie, also known as Payman, also known as the ghost in The Conjuring, also known as the ghost in pretty much every other horror possession movie out there, that's right, although the plot of the various films can be different and they call him by different names, Payman is he's pretty much the same ghost in everything. He certainly knows how to scare us, that is for sure, so it, it's all fun. The best part about this place is this studio is about the size of it's about the size of New York, not the city, but the not the capital, not the city, but the actual state of New York. 
which provides us with all the rooms that we need. Although, to be perfectly honest, it's a little hard for me to get around, so I ride my favorite bike, and if you know what bike I'm talking about, then shout it out, because I look like little Danny Torrance from The Shining, I'll tell you that much, because I'm pretty sure I ride the bike just about, about as much as he does from one end of the building to the other. By the way, have you met the Torrances? They're a great and personal family, and Jack Torrance is just the best. Now, okay, if you excuse me, with all of this being said, you really need to go. This place is really only made for talent who get work or monsters who are retiring. And seeing as you are neither, I understand the point of your interview, but this place is very secret, very private, and you need to go. And it looks like I was your last interviewee. So from all of our families to yours, your listeners, we hope you have a great day. Be afraid, be very afraid, and finally,